Hi everyone, welcome to Movies and Us, I'm Tony And I'm Danielle And this is going to be our December series Well, well throughout December we're going to be running um, Our Christmas, our favourite Christmas horror movies So we're going to be running it right through December um, So maybe once or twice a week we'll put out our favourite Christmas horror movies Yeah Or films And we just watched one last night which we're going to talk about yeah, and this is this is one we watch every year, but basically, like I said, a couple of times they're our favourite ones. But we're hoping um, during this um, series, what we're doing throughout December, you, you'll come across what, like a couple of hidden gems you've never heard of, and hopefully you will watch it and enjoy it. Okay, so the first one, <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to <laughs> The first one that we watched, um, yes, it was last night we watched, um, it's called Windchill. Um, it was directed by Gregory Jacobs. Um, this is 2007, and it stars one of yeah. Emily Blunt's um, early film roles, and who's that other guy? Ashton Holmes. Um, these characters um, don't even have names in the film. They're known as the girl, the, girl. the guy, the guy and, and the, the girl. girl. Um, but it's a Christmas horror. It's set in British Columbia, Vancouver, is it? Well, it's um, set. It's set in. It's, it's filmed. It's set in. It's filmed in um, Canada, but it's actually set in America. But we found out it was filmed in British Columbia. British Columbia in Canada. <clears throat> so it, the story follows. Um, I get a student, the girl, who Emily Bunt plays, and she's going home um, 23rd of December, making her way home to Delaware, and she needs a, a ride, doesn't she? So she yeah. suggests, one of her friends suggests that she hitches a ride on a car share on one of the camp, um, university campus notice boards, and she rings the driver up, and then she hitches a ride with this lad. Um, what I always thought... When we when we've watched this film is Emily Blunt's, Blunt's character. She is like a bitch in this. She is so snotty. She's quite like she's getting a lift off a guy, and you think you'd be very you know oh thank you oh, I really appreciate this. She's not. She's rude to this guy. And as the story unfolds, um, they start talking about you know that the what they're studying at university and. It turns out that the the guy that's given her a lift, he actually knows her. Um, had a big crush on her. He had a big crush on her. And, and it came across quite creepy, didn't it? Cause... It does, because from her point of view mm. as a girl um, or a woman, you do have that ha kind of fear of it, as if to say, oh gosh, I'm getting in a car with a complete stranger. Mm. Um, you know, am I going to be in danger? So she yeah. starts kind of like, getting very suspicious and her back's getting up with him. She thinks he's a bit weird and creepy. But we always watch Definitely. this film. We I, I, yeah, I, I thought he had, like, serial killer vibes going on. Because <laughs> when I first seen it years yeah. ago, I mean, we first seen this back in 2007. And it's a, it's one of them movies where every year you watch it. Because we watch it once a year, obviously, in December, you know. And you get the you get the vibes, don't you? You think, oh, is he gonna? When you first watch it, you it's like serial killer vibes. There's a but lot of things obviously we're not going to give away spoilers we because we want people to watch these films. But we won't. But that early car car ride it's journey creepy, gives you the mm -hmm. kind of what's he going to do to her? <laughs> no, it's mm. sorry, it's not just what he's what he's going to do with her. They start talking about what what the major in them he presumes she's majoring in philosophy when actually she's not she's very intelligent and she's majoring in engineering he's actually majoring in a religious one what was it called it was a, reli a religious studies or something it was there yeah was, basically there was yeah something so important on this car journey ride where um he talks about reincarnation and how what was it called the reoccurrence an events reoccurrence which is a a looping of time which is very significant significant, significant to, to the, the film, to the, to the film um, itself because we watch this don't we and we always mm. talk about it you know you always find you... something new with it don't you yeah when you watch definitely it. because mm. we always well when i when i first watched i was like is this all planned has he planned to take her there so that they can get I can't say nothing because I'm going to ruin That's it if you've not watched it. But Basically, I always think, has he done it on purpose to get um, her alone? Yeah. Or is this actually hypothermia? Because they do have um, 
they do go down. Uh, they go off the highway, don't they, off the motorway, and they go onto Route 606, yeah. and they take a detour. And obviously, they're in the snow, and it's cold. And we we lived right. in Canada for a few, several months, didn't we? And yeah. it is so cold. Basically, the 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 movie is that the the they do crash and and they're stranded there, and you can imagine how cold it is, and you get high. You no, know, you get, they're on board. They're, they're on the um. What's Green the right word? Oh, yes, that's it, and hypothermia and stuff. But the great thing is, it's it's um it, it's it's creepy. It's got that fantastic Christmas vibe going, you know, with the snow, uh, the music. It gets you that. It, it gets you ready for Christmas, yeah. and it makes you want to watch more Christmas horror films. And that's what I love about it, and the whole snowy vibe and the coldness to it, and and it's know, the survival and instinct. the survival. In, yeah. So basically, if you're looking for a a, 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 a horror movie at Christmas where it's it you know you you've got the as atmosphere going on with the snow the music and you want a bit of horror to it this is the perfect movie for it it's it's, it's a survival it's a it's a horror survival movie isn't it yeah and it's not over complicated because you literally mm. do have two main characters in a car you mm. don't even know the names um, exactly yeah and then you do get some kind of like eerie not jump scares, but there's some eerie moments where you're like, where is this yeah, going? Quite creepy. And it kind of all comes together yeah. really well. Yeah. Um, but would that be, we always talk get... about it at the end, don't we? So, so to wrap this up anyway, this is... This is Sorry, a... I get excited. No, no, it's fine. It's <laughs> just like that. Danielle's going to put some money spoilers <laughs> out. But, and I know, but just if you've seen the movie, drop a comment down below, you, you know, and... If you've not seen this movie and you are looking for recommendations to watch over Christmas, it's a great Christmas film. It it's is. a great Christmas horror film. And I'd say just give it a go. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, what would you <laughs> score it out of 10 though? I'd uh, say like a 7. Yeah, 7 and a half, 8. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm, but we, we do, we watch it every year and every year we're always talking. Mm. Like they'll go, what happens in the end again? And they're like, oh yeah, I do you remember this. So that's why it's worth just watching. Definitely. Mm. So yeah. Drop a comment down below, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and um, let us know if you've seen it. And if you do, go and watch it after watching this video. Let us know what your thoughts. Let us know, what you, let us know your thoughts. So, I'm happy with that. Yeah. So, the next video will be part two, and we'll be talking about another movie, um, which we should have out about midweek. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and that, this is, that's going to be another really good one too, which I don't think many people have watched. So... I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks Bye. a lot, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye. Now. It's just like going to sleep. <laughs>